Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio, and in this video, I'm super excited to show you this new device that I've got right here. I just got this in the mail today. It's a Focusrite Scarlett, uh, and essentially what it is, is a audio interface that lets you run microphones, guitars, keyboards, other instruments straight into here, and then this is then connected into your computer over USB. You then run speakers out of this, whether that be monitor speakers, or you can actually plug in your computer speakers as well and actually play the stuff that's on here throughout speakers in your space. So before we get into this and open this thing up and show you how to connect it up, please remember as always to subscribe, clicking on that bell so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm releasing. So there are actually multiple ways to record music, record instruments, record vocals into a computer. Of course, most computers have got some sort of a built-in microphone and you can sort of do something around there. You can record audio if you're you know, doing any video audio recording, but it's not that crash hot. The other way you can do it is of course, you can have yourself a microphone that is connected via USB directly into a computer as well. And perhaps that microphone is on the face of say a guitar or in the face of an amplifier or being able to speak or sing into that microphone directly. And you essentially bypass something like this. You could also even use the audio jack that is on the side of your computer to actually record a microphone, for example, that's running into that. Better way is to use something like this being an audio interface that you run your instruments, your microphones, into here and then that is then plugged in via some sort of a connection into your computer whether that be USB or some other sort of connection. It's nicely packaged, looks pretty good. Before we open up the uh, the main event, let's see what else is in the box. Some safety instructions, that's always helpful. And then your cable. That's it. There's nothing else in there. Of course this is a USB-C to a older USB connection. Now, if you do have a USB to USB-C, for example, something like that, USB-C to USB-C, use that. Otherwise, you can use that converter. I'm gonna use one of these because I've got multiple USB-C ports directly on my computer. But just be aware that in the box, you only get the, US the old USB to the new USB-C. There it is, focus right. Scarlet, got a little plastic on the front. To make sure it kept nice and scratch proof. You can of course keep that on if you like to do that sort of thing. And there's one on the back as well. Here we go, let's have a look at it. There it is, looks brilliant. It's sturdy, it's got a nice metal sort of frame. Feels good quality, which is good. Uh, and as I said, you've got all the connectors right on the front there to be able to run that straight into your computer. So we've got two inputs right there on the left, uh, your one and two, and you can of course run directly into that a standard instrument you know, cable, a guitar cable, a TS cable they call them, uh, and also a XLR cable. You've also got the instrument button on the left and then the air button on the right, instrument being to be able to adjust whether you're going from an instrument or different line inputs. And the air is also there used to sort of adjust some of the gains there and give you some additional boost in the mid to high frequencies. We've also got the main gains up and down that you can do right there to be able to actually adjust the volume going into your computer via the USB connection. On the right, you've got your big monitor knob to be able to turn your monitor output up and down. We've also got on the top right, an actual volume for your headphones. And then you've got a 48 volt button for phantom power for microphones, for example, and then your direct monitors to be able to adjust things like your latency and the amount of signal coming in between multiple sources and outputs. On the back, we've got our line outputs right and left that will run into monitors. You've also got a lock area there if you wanna lock the actual unit and a USB-C cable, which lets you then run that into the computer. This uh, is powered via USB, so you don't need any sort of external power. Now within the unit, you do also get uh, bundled with the pack, a number of software packages, including a version of um, Pro Tools and some other audio recording software, which makes it very, very easy for you to be able to set it up right out of the box and then install relevant software so that you can start your recording adventures.
Now I'm doing this on a Mac. Uh, we are running a MacBook Pro, running the latest operating system. Straight out, uh, I've plugged the unit in and this has come up automatically. It's automatically brought up my browser on my computer and it's now saying, welcome to your new Scarlet. Now the other thing that was great is when I plugged it straight in on the Finder, on the Mac, essentially it's like Windows Explorer on uh, Windows. Uh, here it is. It's picked up the Scarlet right here. And here are a couple of files that give you a bit more information around the actual setup and the config of the unit. But from within here, we just do a let's get started and we just go through the basic stuff. Create your account, essential software to install a driver and essential software running your Scarlet on Mac or PC. Included music, uh, making software, and then there's some tutorials. So you can go and register an account right from here. And it says that it's gonna take you up to 30 minutes to set all of this up. If you want some additional stuff and actually have some software to be able to go and change and have further options available for your actual audio interface, then you download this. And I would highly recommend it, even though you can use the device right now, get this, install it, Mac, PC, it's gonna be the same process. So everything is now set up, ready to go. We've obviously downloaded the Focusrite control software, but what's great is that the whole installation process, the actual Focusrite installer via the website um, is really a step-by-step -step guide with videos helping you how to do it. It gives you options around installing additional audio recording software, such as Pro Tools, uh, and as well as some other ones available as well. But if you have some of your own uh, audio recording software already, for example, on your Windows or Mac computer, then you can just use that and configure that to work within there. So the next step is now plug in your instruments, plug in your microphone straight into your Focusrite, play around with it. Your audio software should be able to pick up those instruments uh, and it just makes that whole process of recording via the Focusrite onto your computer very, very easy. So within our computer right here, now we've got a couple of apps open. We've got uh, Pro Tools. On my Mac as well, I've got uh, GarageBand. So this is GarageBand and this is built straight into the computer. There's a preference area where you can actually select the actual um, interface, right? So what device do you want to be using? So in this case, you've got an output device. Where do you want the sound to come out of? You'll see that by default, it's got MacBook Pro speakers and then the input device. So what things do you want to be able to run into the computer and what devices do you want to be running out of the computer? So then by default, you'll see that the input has my MacBook Pro, so my laptop's uh, microphone, my Yeti stereo microphone, which is this microphone right here. You can also select our Scarlett. You can also set this up by default on your computer. So again, because I'm on a Mac, you open up your system preferences. And then there's a sound area right here where you can actually set now the default input and output of your computer. Then you can set the default to be your Yeti microphone, which is this one right here, which is a USB device or you can set the input to be your Scarlett device, which is your audio interface. And then anything that's connected into your actual audio interface will then be input by default through that on your Mac. Similarly on your output, here are your output devices. And that's really how you set it up within there. You see that my Scarlett has been selected down here under the input, you'll see that it's got one and two. And that is because the actual Scarlett itself has one and two inputs. So now I can select, well, which input do you want to use? Let's say you have a guitar plugged into one and a microphone plugged into the second one. You can select, well, one we know is the guitar and number two we know is the microphone. So the nice thing about any of these audio recording software packages, so GarageBand Logic on the Mac, um, the Adobe stuff, uh, Pro Tools, is they've all got the different samples. You can import samples and loops and sort of make really cool music. You've got software-based instruments, so you can go and create an actual software instrument right here. Um, you can drag some um, loops into here and then do this, and you'll see that he's now got that drum playing in here. So then I just pick up my guitar and then my drums are behind it and, you know, it sounds pretty good. Notice right, so I can just loop that over and then of course I can go and add a second one of these. And then just add a vocal track and then we sing or talk along. And as you can see, we can talk right into here. And as you can see, we can talk right into here and add this bit into the song. Nice and easy, beautiful, being able to record right into our computer. So there you have it, the Focusrite 
Audio interface, absolutely brilliant, love it. I've now recorded several things into it, microphones, as well as a couple of guitars directly and even via amps through a microphone. It was completely plug and play uh, on my Mac as well, which made it really, really easy to set up. And as I said, this is probably one of the better ways to be able to actually record music onto your computer. So thank you so much for spending the time, really appreciate it. I would love it if you commented below, let me know your thoughts about this channel, about even this video, that would be really great. Remember as always to like this video, give me a thumbs up and do subscribe, clicking on that bell so that you don't miss out on any of the tech videos that I'm releasing. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.